Sunday, November the 8th, one of the two biggest games on the soccer calendar for Sheffield. Fans are arriving at Bramall Lane for the local derby against their old rivals from across the city, Sheffield Wednesday. The game is to be seen across the country too. Sky Television selected this game to be their live Sunday game. It's a fact that they won't be disappointed by the choice. The atmosphere is electric and there's an almost carnival atmosphere at the lane. And an old favourite for the United fans. Bob Booker gets a great reception. It's a great occasion for both teams, both sets of fans, and for the city too. And uh, United lose the ball straight from the kickoff to a very eager Mark Bright. Forward quickly by Pearson. United have lost only one of the last seven league games that they've played. Wednesday have not been at their best in away matches. Hurst trying to hold it up. Waddle. Certainly a, a footballing team selected by Trevor Francis here with Chris Bart Williams linking up with Waddle and uh, in too much of a hurry and bringing himself down. Pearson, the captain, Ward, breaks for Gannon. Little John, who had a fine game at Chelsea, scored one and made one. And, uh, United's first away win of the season. Bradshaw hurls it towards Gale. It's Palmer who got up well. And Dean goes with Woods, whose punch was a little on the nervy side, but in the end it was... Effective enough. Beasley will take the free kick. Dean will fight for it here. Pearson, the master in the air again. Little job. Ward miss hits. And it comes back to Dean. And now it comes to Ward. Sheffield Wesley struggling to get the ball out in the end. It was Roland Nielsen who got the block. Long throw from Cowan this time. And it's done really what it's designed to do, produce perhaps an even better opportunity from a corner. Gale coming in, oh! It's gone right across the face of the goal and it's a goal kick at the end of it. Sheridan, right, this is what Wednesday are good at. <laughs> Took his eye off the ball. Little John. Bradshaw making tracks into the middle. Dean, of course, is there. Bright. Pressurising Beasley. Cowan trying to be a little too clever. Waddle. Sheridan. Bart Williams coming up for the shot. And what a good run it was. Sheridan. Wilson playing very narrow in midfield on that left side. Waddle giving the width on the right though. Sheridan is onside and Mark Bright was moving in with great menace. It was Beasley who slid in. Flicked on by Bart Williams. Bright, great side, Bart Williams from a difficult angle. And Alan Kelly. 
keeping it at nil-nil here. Oh, I'll be a happy man, Alan Kelly. That was two fine saves. But you have to say, Chris Bat Williams should score here. It's Bat Williams that gets a touch on there. And then David Hurst does ever so well to keep it back in the box. That's when he should score. Mark Bright it as he gets the header. And Bat Williams comes in. You see it again. Williams gets the play. Hurst keeps it in. That should be a goal, isn't it? But watches the keepers up again to get his body in the way. Monumental presence of Brian Dean in the middle there. Almost tilting this domestic dispute in the way of United. Ward. Behind. Well, I can't believe the amount of space he ended up with Brian Dean. The major aerial threat in the Sheffield side. And watch the space he has. He's about five or six yards from goal. Look at that, he's up. Chris Wood's totally beaten. Now Hurst. Trying to link up with Bright. United saw it coming. With Beasley, who leads the counter-attack himself. Little John's gone to the left. Dean coming through the centre now. And trying to take it on into his stride and lose Palmer in the process. Waddle. Now Nielsen. Beasley again. Gannon. Charged down by Cowan. And he's made something for Sheffield United here. Well, the cross was aimed for Dean. Bradshaw might have felt it back. Get engaged quickly on the scene as well. Well, he made it all on his own, Tom Cowan, didn't he? play it was down the left hand side from the Scott Tom Cowan. Dean. They're sensing something, the Sheffield United supporters behind the goal that Chris Woods is defending here at this corner. Yeah, it's a little testing period, isn't it, for Wednesday? Center. It's coming for Dean, and it's dropped behind Rogers. Dean's offside. Oh, Wednesday now feeling the strain. A oh, Wednesday just can't get hold of it. They can't get hold of it, and they can't keep it. And that's why they're having to deal with all this pressure at the moment. Now, can Dean get there first? Danny Wilson, like the good professional, the wise old head that he is. Carlton Palmer was struggling to be first to that one. Dean had stolen a yard, maybe more. But Danny Wilson was alert. A real crescendo of noise now at this corner. Woods doesn't get to it, oh, it's gone in. Little John says that he got the last touch. I'm not so sure Brian Dean will be too pleased about that. Certainly feel it did hit Adrian Littlejohn. But I think we'll see here as Brian Dean's towering header at the back post. And Chris Woods will wonder, should he have stayed where he was? Oh, well, Littlejohn says, it's mine. And it comes. Watch Dean at the back post. Up it goes. Down it goes. Yeah, Littlejohn will claim that. I think you might find it might have just sneaked wide. And Adrian Littlejohn not got his heel in the way. The back heel from the number nine. Danny Wilson was on the post there but couldn't stop it going in. United lead. Here's Wilson now. Oh, and very nearly a swift reply from Sheridan. Here we see it. Let's watch this again. Just watch the little touch again. There's the header. Yes. 
very definite little back heel. That was going wide. And I think we'll say it's yours. Dean, a little jump. has got there and put it in the side netting. But it's so uh, straightforward when they find the right ball up to Dean and they flick his angle like this. Well, that, that's what you must do. You must gamble if you're the second striker. Here's Hurst for Waddle. For David Hurst! Oh, that's brilliant! Oh, what a strike, man. What an absolute top draw strike from a top striker. A corner for Sheffield United and the referee has on time for it to be taken. There'll be bedlam from uh, Wednesday, I'm sure, in protest if the if a goal comes from here to decide it. I can't yeah. remember a game with this much injury time. Gage. Working hard to get in his cross. Nielsen, it flicked off Bart Williams, Hodges, now Gannon. Nicely done, Wednesday wanted an offside and the flag has stayed down. Palmer using every length, every inch of the long legs there to get it behind for another corner. Into Gannon, Wood's got to it, Hodges calling for this one. And it wouldn't go through the forest of legs between him and the Wednesday goal. No time to dally on the taking of a throw. Wallop forward by Waddle. And it has finished all square in Sheffield. It was definitely a big game. I didn't realise how big a game it was until, you know, you, you're actually on the pitch, you know. Um, obviously, you know, I've played in derby games before. But, uh, yeah, the atmosphere was brilliant. I mean, everybody I've talked to since has said, you know, that was the best atmosphere they've been in at a game and our fans were magnificent you know I looked up into the cop and there was like a flare you know and the first thing that the rest of the players thought about was like in the Italian league where you know people have got flares in the crowd and it looked really spectacular it looked really good. Players like derby games there's a lot of excitement but there is a lot of tension involved and a lot of pride and sometimes the players are wound up and the game takes on a a far greater significance and I think it was important for both Wednesday and United this year after last year's results uh, the game had a significant importance and the fact that it was also on Sky Television and the nation could see it uh, added a little bit of extra spice but I think the atmosphere created by both sets of fans helped the TV spectacle it was an excellent game in terms and uh, probably at the end of the day a draw was a fair result although I must say after having battered them in the start of the second half and gone one up I was disappointed that we took our foot off the accelerator and didn't go looking for the second goal because I think we could have got a second goal but we sat back and for some unknown reason started to defend the lead instead of trying to add uh, extra goals to it. I think if Eddie wasn't there with his touch it wouldn't have gone in it might have hit Danny Wilson or hit the post so it's just as well he was there and you know it was a it was a good corner and um, Gailey Gailey went in in front of me and I think him and Chris Woods collided and I just managed to get above Nigel Pearson to knock it down, you know, and then obviously Eddie got the little touch, so, you know, we were quite happy at that stage. Yeah, well, then I got the Eddie and it was going wide, <laughs> and I just got the little flick to make it more goal, yeah. Yeah, that's the first local derby, the atmosphere was phenomenal, really, it was unbelievable, it's a really great game to play in, yeah. A great game to play in and a great game to watch and this season's supremacy to be decided in March when we visit Hillsborough and hope to mirror last season's result.